First though, Rugby League and both the ARL and Super League keep insisting they are willing to compromise, but when you get right down to it, it's the great Mexican standoff. Ken Arthurson and John Rebo only a phone call away, but it seems further apart by the day. Since the war which devastated the game back in March, league fans have been hopeful of a compromise. And it's become personal. I think John's in danger of being known as the mushroom the way he's going because he doesn't seem to know what's going on. I mean, he doesn't get a phone call from us. It appears he doesn't get a phone call from them. Newspaper headlines paint a bleak picture, but the generals in charge on the surface appear optimistic. Why they wouldn't just pick up the phone and uh, let's sit down and talk on a sensible forum, it clearly is just a set up to the, uh, to the public to make out that we're the bad guys in this, which is, uh, I think they're uh, trying to pull the wool over their eyes. It's just a nonsense for News Corporation to say that we haven't been willing to cooperate and negotiate a peace agreement because I give you my word of honour, we have and we are still willing to negotiate and sit down at the, uh, at the table and discuss a peace settlement. As it stands now, there'll be two separate competitions. Super League, committed to a 1996 start, will comprise 10 teams, not the eight as rumoured. We're, t we're totally committed to uh, 10 teams and uh, we believe we'll have something exciting to announce over the next month or two. The big question surrounds their 10th franchise. The South East Queensland Crushers provide the key at the moment to this dispute. Badly needed by the Australian Rugby League to keep its competition interstate, and wanted by the Super League to provide the 10th franchise. Both parties remain hopeful. And even now they've said that uh, they haven't made the decision, so we've just got to wait and see. They know where we're coming from. I'd like to be sure of winning the lottery, uh, Tony. I, <laughs> I think it's a, a lay down reserve. The ARL's competition, depending on the crushes, will involve 11 or 12 teams, with only Newcastle, Gold Coast and Illawarra from outside the Sydney area. Super League are making alternative plans should the crushes as expected be lost to the ARL.